here's the parts we'll be looking at today. The trigger, the directional switch, the clutch, and the gear selector. The trigger is pretty self-explanatory. Pull the trigger, the drill will rotate. The chuck is the part of the drill that holds the bits. Rotate it clockwise to tighten or counterclockwise to loosen. Next, let's take a look at the directional switch. The arrows on either side will show which direction the drill would drive a standard fastener. The clutch determines how much torque the drill will produce before slipping. The lower the number, the smaller the amount of torque. There's also a drill setting, which overrides the clutch slip entirely. Finally, we have the gear selector, which generally has two different settings. Number one is for low speed and high torque for driving in screws. Setting two is for high speed, low torque for drilling applications. And that's it. All the features of a drill in just under 90 seconds.